Greetings to the leadership and uh, membership and our comrades of the Communist Party of the USA. This year, Comrade uh, Jarvis Tyner turns 80. We wish to say happy 80th birthday to you, dear Comrade Jarvis. This year also marks another milestone in your life, that of being the 60th anniversary since you joined the Communist Party of the USA in 1961. That translates into 60 years of rich experience, knowledge and activism in the struggle for democracy, non-racialism and socialism in the United States. There is the struggle against imperialism in general and right at the coal face, the struggle against American imperialism in particular. Your 80th birthday coincides with the centenary of the founding of our party, the South African Communist Party. We celebrate 100 years of unbroken struggle under the programmatic theme, put people before profit, socialism is the future, build it now. Founded as the Communist Party of South Africa in July 1921, our party played a heroic role in the struggle against racism, sexism, colonial and apartheid oppression. We established and elaborated in both theory and in practice the principles of non-racialism and equality, which includes gender equality. This is our shared history, given your own outstanding contribution in the United States to the struggle for civil rights, the struggle against racism, the struggle against sexism, and the struggle for the emancipation of workers from economic capitalist exploitation. Your extensive writings, for instance, against racism, has given people of different generations an important source of reference and institutional memory in carrying forward the struggle to achieve the universal goal of non-racialism. The South African Communist Party would particularly like to use this occasion of the 80th birthday of Comrade Jarvis to salute him for his sterling role and contribution in the anti-apartheid movement. The anti-apartheid movement was one of the largest global solidarity movements of the 20th century. It was through the selfless contribution by comrades and CPUSA cadres like Comrade Jarvis that this movement became what it was and made a significant and decisive contribution in the final defeat of apartheid in South Africa. Like a good communist, Comrade Jarvis always knew that much as the phenomenon of racism cannot be mechanically reduced to class exploitation, but there can be no successful struggle against racism unless it is also fought together with the struggles against class exploitation and patriarchy. It is through this history of common struggle and solidarity between our two parties that we must continue to share experiences in building broad fronts against racism and patriarchy and to work towards the mobilization of an even broader array of forces in active support for socialism. Socialism is the only alternative for humanity to save itself and the planet that has been so ravaged by capitalist greed. Through his communist activism, Comrade Jarvis has also helped to build a strong relationship between our two parties, the CPUSA and the SACP. It is through his internationalist outlook and contribution that we have not allowed the physical distance between our two countries to prevent closer social and political support.